In this video, I want to update posts with forms. So, I need a new view that will handle a request for updating posts. In Blueprint PY model, I'm creating a new view. And first of all, to update a post, I have to fetch it from the database. And so the URL will be the following. I need to get the post, so I have to get the slug and then edit methods post and get post update function gets the slug. Now I am getting the post from the database. Then again, I have to check whether the request is a POST request or a GET request. If it's a GET request, I have to display to a user the edit form. If it's a POST request, I have to get from the user update data and save it to the database. So, if request method equals to post, I need to create an empty form. And in this case, I have to fill the form with the data of the post that I got from the database. So, the first argument of the post form class constructor should be the form data. The form data is the data that a user sends to the app through input fields. And all data that a user sends to the app are stored in the request object in its form dictionary. So the form data gets the request form value. And the second argument is the object. The object is the data of a certain post that I want to fill in the form. In my case, it will be the post variable. Then, after the edit form will be filled with the form data, I need to overwrite it by a new updated data. I can do it with the populate object method. So I am calling populate object method and pass into it the post variable. So what I have done here, I've got a post from the database. Then I've created a form and fill this form with the data of the post. It's the old data and it's a new data that a user updated by submitting the form. And then the populate object method overrides the data of the post by a new data that a user inputs to the input form. Now I've got new data that I want to save to the database. DB session commit and then return redirect and I want to redirect a user to the updated post. If it's a GET request, I want to display to a user the form filled with the post data. So the form will be post form and object equals to post. Posts, let's say it will be edit HTML file. Post equals to post and form equals to form. And now I want to create the edit HTML file. Templates posts, edit HTML. And I want to copy here the form of the post create file. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Then 
then I have to change the action attribute. It will be post update function. And I have to pass into the URL for function the slug of the post. Post slug. Let's test it. Update. Let's check it. I'm sorry, parentheses should be closed here. Let's check it. Five, new post, edit. Okay, I've got field form with the post data. Let's add something, submit. And I've got updated post. It works. So if you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.